Now here, we have some missing number problems for subtracting multiples of 10. So first, 550 minus something equals 510. So if we highlight the digits that have changed, we can see that it's our tens digit. We start with five tens, but then we have one ten in our answer. So because it's the second number in our subtraction that's missing, we can use subtraction to find our missing number, and five minus one is four. But to show that it's four tens that has been subtracted, we need to write a zero as our ones digit, because we start with zero ones, and we have zero ones in our answer as well. So 550 minus 40 equals 510. Now, 220 minus something equals 180. So here, if we highlight the digits that have changed, it's not just our tens digit, but our hundreds digit as well. But again, we can use subtraction to find our missing number. We can work out 22 minus 18. That's 4, because from 18, we need to count on 4 to get to 22. So we can write 4, but then, again, to show that it's 4 tens, we need to write a 0 in our 1s, because we can see that our 1s digit has stayed the same. So now, 550 minus something equals 460. Again, we can work out 55 minus 46. That's 9, because from 46, we would need to count on 9 to get to 55. We could count on 4 to get to 50, and then count on another 5, but that's counting on 9 altogether. So remember, when numbers are close to each other, we can subtract by finding the difference, counting up from the smaller number to the larger one. So we can write 9, but again, to show that it's 9 tens, we need a 0 as our 1's digit. So let's take a closer look at these questions. For this first one, we started with 550, so 500s and 5 tens. But then, to get 510, we need to take away 4 of our tens. And because it's 4 tens that we're subtracting, our missing number is 40. Then we started with 220. If we exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens, we can subtract 4 tens to leave us with 108 tens. So because subtracting 4 tens gave us our answer, our missing number is 40. And now we start with 550, and we need to make 460. To do that, we can exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens, and then, if we're going to be left with only six tens, we need to take nine tens away. So that's five tens here, and four tens here. So that means 550 minus 90 is 460. Now we could also show our missing number subtractions using place value counters. So we can start with five hundreds and five tens, but to get to five hundreds and one ten, we need to take four tens away, so that's subtracting forty. And then we can start with two hundred and twenty. We need to get to one hundred and eighty. We can subtract one two tens, then exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens, then subtract three four tens, and because subtracting four tens leaves us with 108 tens, we know that our missing number must be 40. And then, for our last question, we started with 550 and needed to see what we could subtract to make 460. So we can subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens, then exchange, then subtract 6, 7, 8, 9 tens, and that leaves us with 460, so with 400s and 6 tens, and we got that by taking away 9 tens, so subtracting 90.